this is a great day. The purpose of this day is to honor a great man and the legacy that he has uh, given us. Mr. Thomas P. Eaton. Mr. Eaton became the executive director for the Boys Club in 1970. And he has, uh, during that time, the club changed a little bit. It went from Boys Club to Boys and Girls Club. It went from this one man picking up kids and kids meeting him on vacant lots to uh, in 19, uh, two, 2010, which is over 40 years that he served as executive director, it went from kids being at uh, on vacant lots to six clubs, to one summer satellite unit, to partnerships in all three Orangeburg district school systems, for over a thousand kids to come to the clubs. And the outreach program at the school district there in District 3, uh, the Holly Hill area, we have over 500 kids that participate in Boys and Girls Club uh, academic programs. In District 4, the Edison District, we partner with all other schools and uh, HKT, the elementary schools and, and the middle schools. District 5, uh, we're in all other schools. And this is because of Mr. Eaglin and his vision and, and what he brought to the community and what he uh, brought to the Boys and Girls Club. And, and those are just a couple of things. You know, and I won't go into the other numerous uh, accolades that I can give Mr. Eaglin because if I did, we'd miss dinner and probably breakfast too. So uh, with, with that, I just want to say, you know, the purpose of being here is to rename the Town Bridge Road Boys and Girls Club to the Thomas B. Eaglin Boys and Girls Club. And uh, that just gives all of the board members of the Boys and Girls Club and the staff, it just gives us a great pleasure that, that we can do this. And we just, once again, we just thank that you all are here to help us dedicate and rename this facility after Mr. Eaglin. And so, you know, we, we know that, that, that we are like a village. We, we, it takes all of us to, to, to raise our kids today. And we have some great partners. We have, you know, our board members for the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we have two of the representatives from the elderly Boys and Girls Club, Mr. Bay and Ms. Bay. We, we thank you all for, for coming, and we thank you all for, for taking a part in, in raising our kids, our youths. Uh, and, and we have uh, one of our, our major partners, and without them, we would not be here. And we have several of, of the county council individuals here, but we have also have uh, Mr. Maybanks and Mr. Bill Clark, who are our county uh, administrators. And, and we have uh, Ms. Janie Cooper, we have uh, uh, Councilman Ravenel, we have Councilman Livingston, and we have uh, the chairman of the Orange Bear Council, uh, Mr. Johnny Wright. And so, you know, I'd just like to acknowledge you all and thank you all. And, and what we, we want to do the unveiling, but, you know, I'd just like to give anyone an opportunity, maybe start with uh, Mr. Wright, who is the uh, chairman of the, the uh, county. Uh, Council to make some remarks if, if you would like to, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. You know, of course, as always, it's an honor uh, to, um, to be here today um, on behalf of and all council persons who can speak for themselves or on behalf of Orangeburg County in my position. I'm certainly uh, very happy to be here and happy about this occasion in this dedication because I, I didn't always know Mr. Eaglin from 1970, but I have known him since I got on county council and numerous times when he would show up to our council meetings uh, during the budget process to talk about what he needed to try to grow the Boys and Girls Club. And listening to those who have known him all his life to talk about the good things that he's done for the community, picking up boys and girls, and giving up himself, you don't 
find individuals like that. We need more of us to have that kind of commitment to our community and to our young people. So I, again, uh, I'm just happy to, to be here, and uh, I think it's a great honor to him, to his uh, past, legacy, and to his family. Okay? Let's go.